everybody. So today we're going to do a lesson on geometric multiplication. And this is just another way that you can practice your long multiplication. So here I have a piece of graph paper and up here in the corner, I'm gonna write a problem. So we're going to do 4,365 times Let's do 34. Remember, this is our equals line, sorry. Okay, so we are going to make a physical form of this multiplication problem. Essentially, what we're gonna do is we're going to make our own checkerboard, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna come down here, not all the way, actually, yeah, I'm gonna come down here right there at the bottom corner and I'm gonna make a dot. Now my first question is this, we have to make our multiplicand, remember that's our top number up here. So how many units are in our multiplicand? Five, so I'm gonna come down to this dot and I'm gonna count five squares. One, two, three, four, five, like that, okay? And we have five units, so I'm just gonna go ahead and write the number five down there. Now let's go to our tens. How many tens do we have? Six. So from this dot, I'm gonna count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make a dot. So I have six full squares there. And this is six tens. What number is that? Six tens. It's 60. So I'm gonna write 60 right down here. Like that. Now how many hundreds do I have? Three. So from this dot, I'm going to count over three. One, two, three. And I'm going to put a dot. And I want to write 300 over here. So I'm not just writing three. I'm writing 300 with all the zeros. And how many thousands? Four. So from this dot, I'm going to count four. One, two, three, four. Cool. All right. And that's 4,000. So I'm going to write... 4,000. Now, I'm going to hold this up a little so you can see. Do you notice I'm not writing right inside the squares? You don't need to write a number in each square, okay? Trust me on that because you're going to run out of room if you do that. Okay, so there's our multiplicand. Now we need to make our multiplier. Here's our multiplier. It's the bottom number. And just like in the checkerboard, our multiplier is going to go up this side here. So how many units are in our multiplier? Four. I'm gonna count down here for my very first dot. I'm gonna count up four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And that's the number four units. How many tens do we have on our multiplier? Three. So I'm gonna count up three. One, two, three. And then we're gonna write the number 30, like that. Now I have some drawing to do with my ruler. So I'm going to make A line here along the bottom axis. I'm going to draw a line up here along my side axis. And you notice that I'm using a ruler. You're going to want to use a ruler, all right? Because you want your line on the lines of the graph paper. And you're going to see why in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and just make it here and finish my rectangle like that. and anywhere there's a dot I need to draw a line so here I need to draw a line up here I need to draw a line up here I need to draw a line up And then I'm going to go across here. Woo. There. So I have my little checkerboard drawn. And you see, these aren't the same size, are they? They just all depend on our multiplicand and our multiplier. So now I'm going to go ahead and color things in. We need to do this in the same order as our checkerboard. 
so units comes first. Whoa. And units is always green. I'm going to write them for now and then I'll color them. So you don't have to sit here and watch me color. Then tens. Then hundreds. Then units of thousands. So I'm gonna go ahead and color those, okay? Okay, so our first row is colored. Units are green, tens are blue, hundreds are red, thousands are green. Now when we come up here, what place is this? 30, 30 is a 10. So this one's gonna be blue. What comes after tens? Tens, hundreds. This is gonna be red. Comes after hundreds. Tens, hundreds, thousands. What comes after thousands? Units of thousands. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. It's a ten, so it's going to be blue. Okay, so I'm going to color these in real quick. Okay, so they're all colored in. And a note about coloring in. You notice that I didn't color super, super dark. See, look how dark I could make that red. But I didn't color that dark because we're going to write inside these. Okay, so you don't want to color too dark. My graph paper printed out kind of light, but when I hold it up, you should be able to see that we can actually see the squares in here. And what's nice about that is that we can use that to help us with our multiplication. And let me show you what I mean by that. So we're gonna use this in the same way that we use the checkerboard. We're gonna start multiplying everything by the units. So we start here, four times five, four times 60, four times 300, four times 4,000. And I have a trick to show you this. So I'm going to go ahead and write 5 times 4. Okay, so what is 5 times 4? Well, if you're not sure, here's the good news. We can count the squares. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that equals 20. Now let's go here. This says... 60 times 4. Well, that's a pretty big problem, isn't it? Well, let's stop for a minute and let's think about it this way. I want you to ignore this zero for now, for right now. Pretend it's not there. What if we just did 6 times 4? 6 times 4. Well, 6 times 4 equals 24. And how many up here in our number sentence? I'm just going to do that rather lightly. How many zeros in our number sentence? There's one. So I'm going to add one zero to my answer. That shows that 60 times 4 equals 240. So we're going to come here. This is 300 times 4. You see, this is why I was saying you don't have to write the numbers in each, like, each square here. It doesn't have to have one number. If you, do, if you write it like this, it's going to be much more clear, okay? So don't write a number in each square, okay? Make your life easier if you don't do that. So let's stop. Ignore these two zeros. What if it was just 3 times 4? 3 times 4 is 4, 8, 12. Now, how many zeros are in this number sentence? 2. So, 300 times 4 equals 1,200, or you could say 1,200. Now we're going to come over here. 4,000 times 4. All right, so again, ignore the zeros. What if it was just 4 times 4? Well, 3 times 4 was 12, like that. So, 4 times 4 is just one more 4. So, if we added 4 to 12, to 12, we would get our answer. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And how many numbers, how many zeros, I'm sorry, do you see here in our number sentence? Three. This says 16,000. Okay. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to do the same thing. Except this time, every single one of these things is going to be multiplied by 30. You got to write the full 30. So here's going to be five times 30. Got to include that zero. 
So ignore the zero just right now. What if it was just five times three? That'd be 15, all right? And how many zeros are in our number sentence? One, so I'm gonna add one zero. And we see that five times 30 equals 150. Now let's go here. Here we're gonna multiply 60 times 30. So let's just look at the six and the three. Six times three is what? Six times two is 12. Add another six to 12. 18. Okay, and how many zeros do you see here? Two. So I'm gonna add two zeros, that's 1,800. Now let's go here. 300 times 30. So three times three is nine. And how many zeros do we need to add now? One, two, three. One, two, three. So 300 times 30 equals 9,000. And now I'll go to our last one. 4,000 times 30 equals, so four times three. Well, we did four times three already, didn't we? Do that down here, and that was 12. And now we have to add one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. That's 120,000. 4,000 times 30 is 120,000. Okay, so we've actually done all of our multiplying. All right, so... Now what we have to do is we just have to do a big addition problem. We're gonna take all these little answers and we're gonna add them up together, all right? So I'm gonna do our first answer, which is 20. I'm gonna come up here and write 20. Now let's move on to here, 240. Now it's important that your categories are all lined up. That means this is gonna be your units, column, tens, hundreds, thousands, so on and so forth. So in order to make sure I get everything lined up, I always start with my units place when I write the answer here. So I'm gonna write zero in the units place, four, two. Then I'm gonna go here, zero, zero, two, one. Zero, 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 six, one. And here you do want a number in each square because that's gonna help keep your categories lined up for when we do the big addition problem, okay? Now we're gonna go here. So zero, five, one, zero, zero, eight, one, zero, 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 nine, zero, 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 two, one, like that. So you see how it kind of goes like this. That's okay. As long as your categories are all matched up, you're gonna be just fine. All right, so here is zero plus 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 zero. Oof, that's a lot of zeros. What does it equal? Zero. Now we actually have some numbers in here, don't we? So two plus four is what? Six plus five, 11. So we've practiced our dynamic addition and we know we need to put the one here. And where does the other one go? next door here. Okay, we can't put it here. All right, that won't work because we just have to change it. So we have to carry, we exchange 10 tens for 100. Picture those golden beads or the stamp games. This shows that extra stamp that you took out. So one plus two is three, plus two is five, plus one is seven, plus eight is what? 15. Five goes here, the one goes next door. Again, we exchanged 10 hundreds for 1,000. One plus one is two, plus six is eight, plus one is nine, plus nine is 18. You see how I just skipped over this? This is a zero. This blank spot is the same thing as a zero, okay? One plus one is two, two plus two is four. And look, there's nothing up here. I'll get all these zeros, so it's just zero plus one. So we found 
our answer. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to write it down. Zero, one. Again, I'm starting with my units. We found that 4,365 times 34 equals, and this is 148, what family? 1,510. Okay. So this is our thousands family. This is our simple family. And remember, simple so simple, we don't say it. So just read the number here. If this was covered up, 148,510. And we just don't say simple, okay? So let's go ahead and do one more. We're just gonna go a little bit faster. Okay, so there's our problem. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw out our multiple cans. So remember, four units. One, two, three, four, write the number four. Six tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, write the number 60. Seven hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, write 700. Five thousand, one, two, three, four, five, six, whoa, one, two, three, four, five, five thousand. Now I'm gonna come up here and do my multiplier. One, two, three, four units. One, two, three, four, five tens, which is 50. And then I'm gonna draw the lines. Okay, so there it's drawn. Now it needs to be colored. Okay, we're all colored up. So we're gonna start our multiplication. Four times four. What does four times four equal? If you're not sure, remember you can count your squares. And do you remember, this is why, do you remember when I talked about putting your lines right on the lines of the graph paper. This is why, because you can, you'll have nice equal squares that you can count if you need to, okay? So four times four is 16. Now we're gonna do 60 times four. So again, ignore the zero. Six times four is what? 24. How many zeros in our number sentence? One. So we're gonna add one zero to our answer. Now let's come down here. 700 times four. So ignore the zeros. Seven times four is what? 28. How many zeros do we need to add? Two. Now we come here, 5,000 times four. Five times four is 20. Now this is a good one because here our answer has a zero in it. But when we look at how many zeros we need to add, we can't count this zero. We have to cover it up and say we need to add one, two, three more. Okay, don't count a zero in an answer to be one of the zeros you need to add. Now let's go up here. 50 times four. Well, there's another example. Five times four is 20. And how many zeros do we need to add? One. So don't count that zero in the 20 as your one zero you need to add. 60 times 50. And here's another one. Six times five is 30. And how many zeros do we need to add? Two. One, two. So one, two. 700 times 50. Well, seven times five is 35. And how many zeros? One, two, three. One, two, three. And then this last one, 5,000 times 50. Well, five times five is 25. Let's see how many zeros. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's our multiplication. Now we need to move our answers up here for an addition problem. So 16, zero, four, two. Remember, I always start with the zero. Zero, eight, two. That way I know my categories are lined up. Three, four, two. Zero, zero, two. Zero, 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 three. Zero, 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 five, three. 
zero 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 five two. I'm going to do this big addition problem. Okay, so 6 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 4 is 5. There's all zeros, so that's going to be 5. 2 plus 8 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. So 12 goes here. I have to carry or exchange that 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 3 is 6. Plus 5 is 11. 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 3 is 6, plus 5 is 11 again, and 1 plus 2 is 3. And then we can move our answer over here. 6, 5, 2, 1, 1, 3. Okay. Again, how we read this is we ignore this just for now. 311,256. Okay. So I know that one was a lot faster, but that was just the second example. So remember, step one is to make your multiplicand and write the numbers. Step two is to make the multiplier and write the numbers. Step three is to connect all the dots into your checkerboard. Step four is to color it. Step five is to do the math for each square, remembering to always write in the zeros. And step five is to write it up here and add it all together, okay? If you need help, just go ahead and give me a call. I wanted to keep this video kind of short because I know the process can take some time. So if you need me, just let me know. I'm happy to help you in any way I can. Okay, guys, happy multiplying. Thanks.